What's up, guys? I am going to go over with you guys today the top 12 reasons that people are and really should be moving to Las Vegas. So why people are moving to Las Vegas and why they should move to Las Vegas if they're contemplating a move from wherever they're at. So we'll get into this list first. I'm going to name 12 of them total and explain a little bit um, by all of them. And uh, first of all, too, if you guys have any real estate related questions, what it's like to live in Las Vegas, anything like that, or just like the moving uh, aspect of coming to Las Vegas, because I did the same thing about eight years ago from Los Angeles, um, feel free to call, email, or text. I'll put my information on the screen. I get calls, emails, and texts on the daily about what it's like to live in Las Vegas or just the real estate market, anything like that. So feel free to call you know, or text whether you're looking right away in two weeks, two months, or even if you're not waiting, you're looking for like two years to do anything, feel free to give me a call or a text or an email and I'll get back to you immediately. But so without further ado, let's unravel this list on the top 12 reasons people are moving to Las Vegas or should. So number one is there is no state income tax. So a lot of clients I have, let's say they're, whether they're getting ready for retirement, they own a company somewhere. They're paying a certain amount of tax. I'm going to just say a great example is the state of California. Uh, you know, they might make a certain large amount of money there where if they can move their company here uh, for a few years before they either decide to sell it or they just don't want to pay that 13 to 16% tax <laughs> uh, on their business. This is a great place to start. Not to mention, whether you're a high earner, uh, obviously the more you're gonna save, the higher you earn, but even if you're a lower earner. Um, at the time, uh, I was bartending um, in Los, An Los Angeles and came here, and I kept a lot more of my paycheck because I didn't have to pay the state of California anything. Um, and this was, again, about eight years ago. So that is the number one reason that I would say, at least that I hear from, is the taxes. It's probably the biggest reason why people want to come. And that also applies if you're from, say, Chicago, New York, um, any taxable you know, state with tax. You know, And it seems like that's been a big, big reason why a lot of people have moved not only to Nevada, but to places like Texas and Florida, too. Also, no state income tax. All right, the number two reason why people are coming to Las Vegas and why it's so appealing is all of the entertainment that's available. So if you want to go see almost any kind of show, whether that be a Cirque show, a comedy show, um, anything like that, um, you have it and then some. Um, you, we even have areas like if let's say you're more of a Broadway person, you're like, oh, I never go to Las Vegas. There's really not a lot of culture there, which I've heard a lot of people say there's a lot. There's a big knock on that. Guys, we even have the Smith Center. We do get traveling Broadway shows here quite often. And we have more and more and more things available. If you want to see a concert, you can pretty much come to Vegas. And if you stay long enough, your favorite artist is going to be there. I mean, now that these guys are getting residency, whether you are, you're into, you know, DJs or, you know, let's say you want to see, I don't know, Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars, um, anybody that has a residency if it makes sense for them to do so, they're getting residencies. Like, I mean, back in the day when it was like Wayne Newton, Celine Dion, they were like pioneers. But now so many of these artists are doing this because people keep coming to Vegas and it's like, oh, I'm in, I'm in Las Vegas. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know. Let, let's do an example. Like Taylor Swift is here or, you know, uh, Bruno Mars is here. Oh, great. He, he performs two days from now. Let's go to his concert. Even if you want to go like nightclubbing, Depending on what nightclubs are there, uh, you can see some of your best artists. You know, when I first moved out here in 2016, I did bartend a little bit on the strip while I got started in this business. Now I've been full time for a few years now. Um, but I remember working at one of the clubs and we had like Snoop Dogg, Nelly, all of them do. Now, granted, these weren't full blown concerts, these were like a half hour shows. But bottom line is, I mean, they paid a general admission fee and they got into this club and they got to see Snoop Dogg perform for a half hour. It's awesome. So as far as that goes, you have that 
at your fingertips. You do have your Broadway stuff and whatnot, and our arts is getting a little bit more and more ramped up here in Las Vegas. More and more people, I think, coming from places like Los Angeles, like San Francisco, like New York, that are living here now are bringing more arts to the area too, which is totally, totally awesome. And let's not forget, guys, now we have sports. Ever since um, the, the Golden Knights, which are Stanley Cup champions, by the way, and now we have the Raiders, and now the Oakland A's are coming. Uh, there's there's a little bit of a, a situation of figuring out where they're going to play in 2025, 26, and 27 because they're estimating that their stadium will be built in 2028. And then there's a ton of rumors that the NBA is also coming. So whether you think of sports, whether you like comedy shows, whether you want to see uh, Cirque shows, whether you want to go see even a Broadway show at the Smith Center, guys, we have it all here. It's awesome. So that is a huge reason because there's there's something about living in a city where like it doesn't even really matter where you're at in the city. If you're on the far outskirts, you're pretty much not more than a half hour from the strip and from where all of these awesome things occur. And we don't have the traffic like a lot of major cities. We still have some traffic, there's no question, but it's not like some cities. So that is the number two reason why I would say People are coming, at least I've listed it at number two. Um, some of these are gonna be more of a particular order, um, but these are kind of just an order I've established just by talking to people that have decided to either make the move or are thinking about making the move. Number three I have is retirement. A lot of people have retirement investments or they have pensions and whatnot, and they're moving from a state that has higher taxes. Let's say they live in, I don't know, Boston, Massachusetts, or San Francisco, California, or wherever, where the tax is much higher on their income. They have a chance they can come out here, live in the state of Nevada, and on their investments or their pensions, they can save a good amount of money. In California, depending on what you did, you might save, say, 10% of your income. So if you have a, a pension that pays you, I don't know, six grand a month, that's an extra $600 in your pocket, you know? And I don't know the exact tax code for California, so don't necessarily quote me numbers. That's just like an example right there. But that's huge. Not to mention, we have tons of 55 and up communities here. They're with tons of amenities, a whole bunch of things to do, and they're great communities. Not to mention, depending on how you want to spend. we Like I mentioned the last one, as far as being an entertainment mecca out here. You also have a ton of other things to do, and you have a lot of really cool stuff within driving distance. I mean, there's Grand Canyon. Um, you, you're, you're very ex your airport is very accessible to anywhere. You're very centralized here to anywhere you want to go, whether your you're, you know, hobbies are maybe a skiing or if you want to go somewhere fishing or even hunting is not overly far. Now, I would say Las Vegas is definitely not a hunting mecca or like an overly... Um, when it comes to outdoors, it says like fishing, hunting, that kind of stuff, but you're not far away from a lot of that stuff. Okay. So retirement is fantastic place to retire. I think in a previous poll I looked at, we were like number three place to retire behind Arizona and Florida. Pretty awesome. Um, accessibility. I just touched on it. That makes this place awesome. Uh, unless you have a major convention like this weekend coming up, um, I, I'm in the you know entering the middle of February here as I make this video. If if you, it's Super Bowl weekend, it's not going to be cheaper to travel. Uh, it's going to be actually quite a bit more expensive. So you do need to be mindful of you know certain conventions or certain events that are occurring in Las Vegas at that time. But for the most part, most of the year, it's rather inexpensive to fly in and out of Las Vegas. The airport is phenomenal. I lived in Chicago before. I lived in LA before. Uh, I will take <laughs> Harry Reid Airport over LAX or O'Hare any day of the week or Midway for that matter. Um, so very, very good, efficient airport. Very easy, easily accessible. Very close to all the things you want to be like as far as the strip and whatnot. But yet far enough away if you want to make a, a somewhat convenient pickup for somebody Airport pickups are not a major deal. Like when my parents came to visit me when I lived in Los Angeles and I had to pick them up at the airport, it was always an ordeal. I always tried to time their flights of when they came in uh, to, to time traffic and whatnot. So Las Vegas, much easier and there's flights everywhere. So it's very, very easy to get a flight out of Las Vegas to wherever you're going at a pretty good price. So that is my number four reason 
for why Las Vegas is fantastic and why a lot of people are wanting to move here. Number five, warm weather. Okay, so warm weather is a huge reason. Now, it does get hot. Um, so just be mindful in the summer. We are usually from, say, beginning of June, mid-June, all the way till usually through August, we're in triple digits. So it does get a little toasty. However, as far as warm weather, mid-September to like end of November is absolutely gorgeous here. And then depending on the year, sometimes could start as middle end of February, could be like March until really mid-May is absolutely phenomenal here. You have incredible weather here. And then depending on where you're from, if you're from, I'm originally from Wisconsin. So, and I lived in Chicago and Minneapolis before. So like if I, if, if I compare the winter here, which today is a cold day, it's about 50 degrees is our high. And I think our low is about 40 degrees. And we got some rain today, which is kind of a rarity here. But overall, um, most people, if you're from the Midwest or the East Coast, that's laughable. That's really not much of a winter. I came, I lived in Southern California for almost 11 years. So that, that I actually had to adjust more to the winter probably than the summer here. But warm weather and then 300 days of sunshine a year. Um, I love the sun. If you are somebody that is like energized by the sun like I am, this is a fantastic place because you literally see the sun. There are sometimes like in the summer, I like don't see clouds, which that may or may not be good. Uh, but it's it does mean the sun is bright and it's awesome and it's shining all the time, which is fantastic. All right. The number six reason why people are either wanting to move here or choosing to move to Las Vegas is we have phenomenal food. Now, if you compare us to say like New York City, we may not stack up to that level or like even parts of LA or San Francisco, but for our size of a market and our cost of living in comparison to some of those really, really, really foodie type cities, Las Vegas is incredible. I mean, we have literally five, you know, I don't, not even, I don't even think five star, I think Michelin is four stars, but we have top, top world renowned chefs that come here because Las Vegas is a great place to open a restaurant and make money, especially on the Strip, that come from all over to open restaurants on the Strip. We have world-class restaurants in almost every hotel out here. So if you want to splurge on maybe a little bit more of expensive date dine, I'm not promising it's going to be cheap in that regard, but you want to have a phenomenal dinner, you have literally hundreds of options. And it doesn't matter, all different kinds of food. It's amazing. And the cool thing is, is because there are so many foodie type people here in Las Vegas, you also have a ton of options off the strip. Some of my favorite restaurants in the city are off the strip. There are so many good sushi restaurants, steak restaurants, Italian restaurants, etc. everything. There's literally great food everywhere. Now, have I been in New York City and do, uh, there's some restaurants that are just not duplicated in New York City or say like San Francisco or maybe even LA too? Yeah, there is. But as far as if you are going from especially a major city that you're used to really good food compared to a lot of other cities that are smaller, I don't think there's a better city, in, especially for our population, as far as restaurants and food goes. I really don't. And especially for the cost of living at which you're going to be, um, I guess, enjoying. So you actually have more money and disposable income to actually spend uh, versus if I like when I lived in LA or if you live in New York City or San Francisco or Boston or one of those huger cities or Miami. Okay, so the number seven reason why I have, and, the, and again, this is kind of an order I picked up and collected on my own data of talking to a lot of people that are moving from other states or thinking about moving from other states to the Las Vegas area. Um, number seven is going to be the proximity to nature and the proximity to national parks. Believe it or not, we are a fantastic spot um, in the middle of a lot. We actually have a national park. Red Rock National Park is 20 minutes, 15 minutes away. It's probably about 12 minutes away from my office right now where I'm shooting this. Um, and then we have um, Zion is about two and a half hours away. Grand Canyon is four hours away. Bryce Canyon is four hours away. Um, Lake Mead is... is from where I'm at, I'm in the western part of the city, so probably about 40, 
45 minutes. But if you live in Henderson, say, you're probably 20 minutes from Lake Mead, maybe 15. So it depends on where you are, but at any rate, very accessible. And also too, if you like to ski, a lot of people don't know, we have Mount Charleston here. Mount Charleston is probably about a 45 minute to 50 minute drive from right where I'm sitting here. When I used to live in the Northwest, it was a half hour. Um, and that's, we have Lee Canyon. So we do have skiing up here. It's about six to 7,000 feet elevation. So if you like to ski, you can do that. And it's literally within an hour uh, of here. And it, it, once you go up to Mount Charleston, if you like hiking up there, there are tons of great hikes. There, there's, and there's also great hikes locally in the city. You have Lone Mountain, which is a quicker hike. And then you have Frenchman Canyon. There's a tons, there's a ton more. It's just, those are a couple of my, my favorites that I am more familiar with, but there's even more hikes than you'd think in the desert. A lot of people don't think of this as a very hiking Mecca and whatnot, but there's actually quite a bit to do outdoors here. So as we get on to these final five, I just want to let you guys know if you guys have any questions about moving to the Las Vegas area, uh, the moving process in general, what it's like to live in Las Vegas, or any real estate related questions, feel free to call, text, or email me, and I'll get back to you immediately. My information will be on the screen. Whether you're looking in like two weeks to make a move, two months, or even if it's two years, go ahead and give me a call. I'll get back to you right away, so that way I can answer any of those questions for you. All right, so we are gonna move on to number eight. A lot of people don't know this, I've seen two different polls. One has said Nevada was the number one state in job growth, and another one said Nevada was number two in job growth in 2023. I do know in the month of October of 2023, Nevada added 52,000 jobs. There were two new hotels that opened, uh, the Fountain Blue and Durango. One was on the strip, one was off the strip. Not to mention, there are four biotech companies that are planning on moving their headquarters to Las Vegas. So no longer are we just an entertainment and tourism mecca. We still are. That is still a very big part of our economy. But we have really begun to diversify our economy, not to mention our mining industry is huge out here. So Nevada being the number one, the number two, depending on what poll you look at, as far as job growth in the United States, a lot of people don't know that. So a lot of people are coming out here for opportunities. And let's say you're in here from California. Maybe you don't quite make as much in the same field. Um, some places you do, and in some industries you do. But let's say you don't make quite as much, but you're saving on the state income tax and the cost of living is so much less out here in all forms of, of living expenses from rent or mortgage to gas to groceries, to whatever. And if you are coming from, say, a smaller town in the middle of the country, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but there's a lot of job growth and a lot of opportunity um, for careers and whatnot out here, depending on what industry you're in, okay? Number nine, Las Vegas is extremely diverse. Uh, this is, I mean, you have people literally that come from all over the world, whether it be in the entertainment realm, whether it be in the hospitality realm, really all various forms of business and commerce. People come here, so we have food from everywhere. We have people from everywhere. It is an awesome place to be because you can learn so much. There are so many people that come here from not only all over the country. So you get people from, it doesn't matter. I know people from the South, the West Coast, uh, the East Coast, the Midwest, Canada, and then I know people from all over the world. There's people literally from all over the world here. I don't know if it's quite as diverse as, say, New York City, but I would say it's just as diverse as, say, L.A. or pretty darn close, which was very surprising when I moved here. But, yeah, if you if diversity is something that's super important and learning about all different kinds of cultures and just being around people from everywhere and just growing yourself that way, this is a phenomenal city for that. Absolutely love that about Las Vegas. Um, number 10, it's family-friendly. I know a lot of you are thinking, Fam oh, come on, dude, family friendly? No way. This can't be family friendly. But guys, let me tell you, this is there are so many awesome communities out here in the outskirts. Now, I'm not saying I take my kids to the strip, okay? So if you know, I, I do have two kids. I have a year and a half old and one that's about to turn four. So no, I do not take them to the strip. I don't take them to Fremont Street. You know what I mean? To Because to, obviously that's going to be a whole different kind of people watching experience. You know, when you live here, 
It's great to go to the strip for a great dinner or a show and whatnot. And, and you know, if you got family, friends come in town. That's another great thing. That's that's almost a bonus perk is people are here that come here to visit. You, you'll have friends. So even if you leave where you're from, the chances of you seeing your friends that are going to come to you is pretty high. Um, that's just like an extra little uh, bonus there. But guys, family friendly. This place is very, very family friendly. You wouldn't think that. Um, but the way that the, our parks are phenomenal. There is a lot available for kids. We do have an awesome children's museum. Um, there's a lot of opportunities and there's a lot of like little things you can do with your kids like Ethel M Chocolate Factory, which is like a higher end version of like Eminem Mars. They have their chocolate factory in Henderson. It's awesome. Like I said, all the outdoor activities you can do with your kids. Um, and there's like in the summer, people complain about the heat, but there's splash pads literally everywhere. There's also a few non-gaming casinos you can take your kids if you want to just go to the pool where there's not a lot of gambling. There's not as much shenanigans. I know the Four Seasons on the Strip is a fantastic place to go um, for that purpose. Um, so there are a lot of things to actually do with your kids out here. And like I said, the weather's always good. So, you know, it does get a little toasty in the summer. So you do have to be a little choosy on the parks you choose um, because the equipment can get really hot from the sun. But other than that... As long as you're somewhat mindful, it's a great place to get outside with your kids and uh, exercise too. So family friendly for sure. Now, the number 11 reason, uh, this could be, depends on where you're coming from, okay? I came from California, so from cost of living standpoint, if you're coming from Washington, D.C., Boston, New York, Chicago, L.A., San Francisco, or well, anywhere in California, let's put it that way, San Diego, LA, San Francisco, San Jose, anywhere in that state of California, um, Seattle, Portland, um, heck, now if someone came from Boise, I think it's a little less expensive here now than Boise even, Salt Lake City, we get a lot of people that come from Utah, um, is, it depends on where in Utah, I think like St. George is on par with here, but our cost of living is much less. Uh, if you're coming from Miami or depending on where in Florida, um, Austin, Texas, also a lot cheaper. Now, if you're coming from somewhere like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Little Rock, Arkansas, Birmingham, Alabama, somewhere like that, you are going to have an increase in, in uh, your cost of living. There's no question about it. Um, so, But for the most part, most of the transients we're getting are coming here for the income tax. Per that's probably the number one that I hear. And then the cost of living, it is way better. Um, at least in my experience from living in Los Angeles, I still I think it's still cheaper, even with everything that's inflated and the cost of everything being so high, I still think I live for less and, and live way better for way less than I lived back in 2016 when I made the move from Los Angeles, just to give you an idea. And, and things have gotten a lot more expensive since 2016 when I first lived here. So cost of living. Number 12, and I think I'm gonna give you guys a bonus one here. It's gonna be a little bit dependent on where you're coming from. But number 12 for me is gonna be the master plan communities. Las Vegas, I would go on out on a limb to say that Las Vegas may have the best city planning in the United States. I don't know if there is a better city at projecting growth and optimizing the city to make room for projected growth. Guys, we really, actually, I'm going to tie this all, all together. Um, I, I was going to make traffic a bonus, but I actually, I'm just going to throw it in to number 12 here. And, and the reason why is these communities are planned so well from housing to our zoning um, to making sure that the grocery stores are in a really good proximity um, to whatever you need, shops, restaurants, um, your, your local coffee shop, parks, um, all the newer communities especially are unbelievable. And there are so many really, really good communities in Las Vegas. Newer ones that I'm thinking of specifically are going to be like Inspirata, Cadence, Sky Canyon. Now we have Sunstone. Um, there are a ton. Obviously, Summerlin is consistently ranked as one of the top master plan communities in the United States year over year. They always are. Um, and it's because it's convenient for everybody. No matter where you live, there's a grocery store within, say, three, four miles for the most part. Um, there's everything you need. So our city has done a very, 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 very good job at planning the stuff out 
to make it as convenient as possible for all the residents. So even if you're in a far, further out city, now our older side of town, um, you know, maybe in the older communities, not as much, but there's still a pretty good proximity to everything. But especially our newer communities out here, if you are looking, especially like any kind of new construction, has they have just done an outstanding job of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and say traffic. That was gonna be a bonus 13, but I'm just gonna throw it in with master plan communities. Um, our roads have been widened already. Uh, when I lived in Los Angeles, and this isn't a knock on Los Angeles, I just don't think Los Angeles was expecting to grow as fast as they grew in population. I moved in 2006 to Los Angeles from the Midwest. The 405 was under construction. When I was under construction the whole time I lived there, I lived in Los Angeles for 10 and a half years. When I left Los Angeles, the 405 was still under construction. And that was due to necessity. They needed to widen the roads to make, you know, more people <laughs> have have access to actually moving uh, traffic in Los Angeles. I'm sure if you are not from Los Angeles, it was it was very hectic. So living in Las Vegas, having four or five lane freeways when we probably don't need them yet um, is phenomenal. We really don't face that much traffic other than maybe the hours of like, say, 3.30 to like 5.30 a little bit if you're going in and out of the strip or downtown because that's a lot of the shift changes for um, the casinos and a lot of the busier shifts and a lot of the workers work at those times. But other than that, unless there's a really bad accident, you really don't have too many issues, I would say. So, so excuse me, that is going to conclude my list of the top 12 reasons why people are either making the decision to move to Las Vegas or should make the decision to lose, move to Las Vegas. And again, I'm going to reiterate, guys, if you have any questions about the moving process, living in Las Vegas in general, or any real estate or real estate market questions, um, regarding Las Vegas or just in general real estate, feel free to call, text, or email me. I'm going to put my information on the screen. Whether you're looking to do anything or make a move in two weeks, two months, or two years, give me a call and I'll get back to you immediately. Uh, other than that, guys, it has been fantastic. I hope this list is helpful. Again, if you have any questions, you can contact me via text, call, or email, or you can write a comment. If you guys have any feedback for me, I'm always open to it. Just please don't be mean about the feedback. Uh, let's make it constructive. So that way, if you have anything that I missed out or is inaccurate, please point it out to me. I'm always looking to get better and to expand my knowledge. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.